If you play volleyball, you probably already know how to do a pepper warm up. That's where you pass, set, and hit with your partner. And it's very common for players to do this before they play. I'm gonna show you a different way to pepper that's gonna be a little bit more beneficial in terms of defense and digging. This variation is called salt and pepper and the way it works is instead of just pass, set, and hit with your partner, you actually do all three touches on your own. So with my partner, instead of just passing it to her or setting it to her or hitting it, I'm going to pass it to myself, set myself, and then hit it to my pepper partner. And this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna pass to myself, set myself, hit to her, same thing, she hits to me. Okay, so all three touches have to be done by the same person before you move on to the next person. Now let's talk about the benefits of this drill. Here is the negative thing about a regular pepper. If I'm just peppering with my partner normally, she's essentially digging the ball right back to me and I'm digging the ball right back to her. So if you break it down in terms of a game, I'm kind of digging the ball right back to the hitter. So if you imagine that my partner's actually at the net and at a hitting stance, if I were to dig this ball right back to her, what I'm essentially doing is giving her an overpass. So if we're peppering right now and she hits it at me, I'm doing an overpass right there, right? The advantage of salt and pepper is that I'm working on digging the ball straight up, setting it, and then hitting it back. Because in real defense, what you really want to do is you want to dig the ball up so that your setter can make a play rather than digging the ball at the actual hitter again. So although salt and pepper is not the best way to pepper because there is no best way, it's a good variation to switch things up and to work on digging the ball up rather than digging the ball at your partner.